Hello, my name is Wendy Ward and I'm the Program Manager for the ARC of Texas Partners in Disability Leadership Program. Congratulations on being selected to join the 2021 cohort. We're really looking forward to your participation. We're excited to launch this year's Partners in Disability Leadership course and we're glad you're on board. This orientation video is meant to be a high-level overview of the who, what, and why of the ARC of Texas Partners in Disability Leadership Program. We thought it would make sense to provide logistical information in advance of the first session, at which point we're going to dive right in. So in this orientation overview, we'll introduce the key people supporting the Partners in Disability Leadership Program, or PDL, review the 2021 PDL class composition, explain the purpose and goals of the PDL program, define intellectual and developmental disabilities, describe the schedule and expectations for the PDL program, introduce the ARC of Texas as an organization, and provide next steps. So who are we? Again, my name is Wendy Ward and my title is Leadership and Advocacy Coordinator. I work in the Public Policy and Advocacy Department of the ARC of Texas, and I'm the main point of contact for PDL. My colleague, Ginger Mayo, is the Director of Public Policy and Advocacy, and she leads our department. Ginger is the person who largely developed the PDL program, and she specializes in community services policy areas. My colleague, Ashley Ford, is the Deputy Direc Director of Public Policy at the ARC of Texas. Ashley is a vital part of PDL, and is the organization's policy lead for inclusive education and competitive integrated employment services. Jennifer Martinez is our chief executive officer. She'll come in and out, out of sessions and networking events related to the PDL program. So you can see from this breakdown that you're part of a diverse class from several different agencies and organizations including the Texas Health and Human Services Commission, the Department of State Health Services, local IDD authorities, workforce solutions, Medicaid waiver program providers, private organizations, nonprofit organizations, and partners resource networks. The diversity of our class has great networking and collaboration benefits for which we'll provide online opportunities. We'll host a networking event before the April session of PDL. Why partners in disability leadership in the first place? There's the rec recognition that we have disability leaders, but how do we harness their energy to leverage positive systemic change for individuals with IDD and their families? The Texas Council for Developmental Disabilities, or TCDD, awarded two grants to develop the next generation of leaders in the intellectual and developmental disabilities field. This intentional approach is designed to counterbalance something we're seeing now, which has to do with existing leaders retiring in the near future or otherwise exiting the IDD field, and there is little support for emerging leaders, which is a rather jarring reality when you think of the constant evolution of the IDD field and new issues that are being uncovered. Think of the challenges around COVID-19, for example. This list of goals is indicative of the competencies that come to mind when contemplating leadership in our field. So for reflecting, we seek to establish a foundation by exploring the history of IDD and how we arrived at this moment. This is really to establish a baseline for connecting to related themes. Refining, we'll be evaluating leadership and communications competencies to consciously improve and take initiative. Collaborating, this is crucial in terms of the IDD field constantly evolving. Often what you think is an issue from your silo isn't or the solution is derived from another's perspective. Collaborating means having the right people at the table informing you and you in turn informing them. All of this is key to being a leader. Acting. For PDL, we learn by doing, not by being talked at. This approach optimizes our time and opportunities to learn from each other and networking. This is key to sustainability and connectedness. We'll forge networking connections which support systems change. So for example, when possible, we're going to link up with counterparts and partners in policymaking, which is a program for individuals with disabilities and their families. 
What is IDD? An intellectual disability is a disability that occurs before age 18 and is characterized by significant limitations in both intellectual functioning and in adaptive behavior, such as social and practical everyday living skills. The Federal Developmental Disabilities Assistance and Bill of Rights Act, or the DD Act of 2000, defines a developmental disability as a severe chronic disability of an individual that is attributable to a mental or physical impairment or combination of impairments that manifests before age 22, is likely, likely to continue indefinitely, and results in substantial functional limitations in three or more major life activities. These might include self-care, learning, mobility, and self-direction. Not everyone with a developmental disability has an intellectual disability, though they sometimes co-occur. Everyone's unique needs must be addressed because everyone is different. People with IDD require individualized supports. In the context of elevating our work in the IDD field and cultivating leaders, what can you expect from the PDL team? There are six sessions for PDL, and each session consists of two days of virtual learning. You'll receive an agenda before each session. We anticipate that each session will start at, at 9.30 a.m. Central and conclude by 3.30 p.m. with time for lunch and breaks. Sessions will include presentations from national and state speakers, group activities, and individual work. Know that for the self-directed leadership project, you'll receive support from us. The point of this project is to benefit your agency or organization and ultimately individuals with IDD and their families. The ARC of Texas will facilitate networking opportunities on an ongoing basis. PDL is not about promoting the ARC of Texas's public policy priorities or legislative goals. It's about respecting confidentiality and learning space. In PDL training, we, we model inclusive practices and we'll all have a chance to learn about and model those ourselves. And we demonstrate a commitment to the inclusion of individuals with IDD. What do we expect of participants of the PDL program? We expect you to attend all sessions. We'll work with you to get you up to speed if you need to miss a segment, but please understand that these sessions build on each other. So it is important that you'll attend and we'll be taking attendance. We'll share the list of participants with their agencies and organizations ahead of time so that if you're uncomfortable working with a particular entity, you can let us know. Demonstrating a commitment to the inclusion of individuals with IDD, we assume that you would not have applied for this program if you don't already uphold that commitment. This is the, the second year of PDL, and if you'd like to learn more about past participants and what they worked on in terms of their leadership projects, for example, you can check out the PDL 2020 yearbook by going to the ARC of Texas's website. Who is the ARC? Ever since its founding, the ARC has continued to grow and evolve with the changing needs and issues people with disabilities and their families face. The ARC was founded in 1950 by parents who believed their children with IDD deserve more, to be included in their communities rather than excluded, and to pursue fulfillment and happiness just like everyone else. The ARC has played a pivotal role in changing public perceptions of disability. There's the National ARC, the ARC of the United States, and we're guided by them. The ARC of Texas works on policy and systems change. We're not a direct service provider outside of the Master Pool Trust Program. Local organizations are autonomous, provide direct services in many cases, and their programs are based on the needs of their own communities. The mission of the ARC of Texas is to promote, protect, and advocate for the human rights and self-determination of Texans with intellectual and developmental disabilities. The vision of the ARC of Texas is a world where Texans with intellectual and developmental disabilities are included in their communities where quality supports and services are available to meet their needs 
and their choices. The core values of the ARC include people first, where people are identified and defined by their own strengths and abilities and inherent value, not by their disability. Equity, where people with IDD are entitled to respect, dignity, equality, safety, and security accorded to other members of society, and they're equal before the law. Community, People with IDD belong in the community and have fundamental moral, civil, and constitutional rights to be fully included and actively participate in all aspects of society. Self-determination. People with IDD, with appropriate resources and supports, can make decisions about their own lives and must be heard on issues that affect their well-being. Diversity. We can all benefit from the contributions of people with diverse personal characteristics, including but not limited to race, ethnicity, religion, age, geographic location, sexual orientation, gender, and type of disability. These core values tie back to the curriculum of the PDL program, and we assume you also share these values. So what are the next steps for the PDL program? First, please ensure that you and your employer have paid for the program, and then you'll review the books that will be delivered to the mailing address you provided upon submission of your application. The two books that you'll be provided are listed here to the right, The Story of Intellectual Disability and Disability Visibility. Please check your email for additional updates and requests. Familiarize yourself with Zoom tools and Google Classroom, and if you need help with these, please don't hesitate to reach out. Reflect on your presumptions about people with IDD and their families. Begin to think about the leadership and communication skills you want to improve, and consider why. And also consider what you would like to focus on for your self-directed leadership project. Finally, if you have questions before session one, please contact me at wward at thearcoftexas.org. I'm happy to be of assistance. Thanks so much for your time and for tuning into this orientation to Partners in Disability Leadership. We look forward to seeing you soon.